Now let's look at that same election that we just saw in a different manner. Here we have the number of votes given in our preference table for each of the different preferences. Which candidate has a majority of first place votes? And then based on the answer to the previous problem, is the majority criterion satisfied? Well, let's begin by figuring out the most number of first place votes. So we're going to end up just looking at candidate A. Notice has 240 first place votes. Candidate B does not have any first place votes. Candidate C has 160 first place votes. And candidate D has 60 first place votes. So if we were just looking at plurality, A would be the winner. Now let's look at the majority criterion. The majority criterion states that if a candidate receives a majority of first place votes in an election, then that candidate should win the election. So we've just looked at the preference table, which was similar to the one that we did using the border count method. Notice that in using the border count method, A is the winner. So this method is not going to violate the majority criterion, since when we look at it using plurality, A is also the winner.